Dr. Eric here to talk to you today about the birds and the bees, which is a really stupid analogy. So really what I'm gonna talk to you about is making babies. Men have sperm, women have eggs. When the two meet, you can make a baby. In most cases, the sperm and the egg meet within a woman's body after sexual intercourse. When a man inserts his erect penis into the woman's vagina and then ejaculates or squirts his semen into her, the semen or sperm can then travel up the cervix, into the uterus, up the fallopian tubes, and if there is an egg that is making its way down from the ovaries, the two can meet and fuse and can potentially create a pregnancy. While sex can happen at any time, a pregnancy can only occur during ovulation. Ovulation is when an egg is traveling from a woman's ovary down the fallopian tube toward the uterus. Typically, this occurs about two weeks before a woman's period. If the sperm and the egg meet, the sperm will penetrate the outer layers of the egg, get into the center, and deposit its DNA. This DNA, together with the DNA of the mother, create the DNA of the child. The fertilized egg could then implant into the wall of the uterus where it may grow. Sometimes the fertilization process has to happen a little differently when a couple is having difficulty getting pregnant. Sometimes the doctor needs to put the man's sperm directly into the woman's uterus, and sometimes the doctor needs to put the sperm directly into the egg and then take the egg and put it directly into the woman's uterus. This is called in vitro fertilization. It is possible for a woman to have more than one fertilized egg at a time. This is the kind of situation that creates twins or triplets or even more. The male's sperm is what determines if the fetus is a male or female. If a woman becomes pregnant, the fetus develops over the next 40 weeks. Most commonly, the first sign of a pregnancy is a missed period. When a woman is pregnant, intercourse is typically safe. As the baby grows, the woman's abdomen will get larger, and eventually the baby is then delivered through the vagina. In some cases, when the baby can't make it through the vagina, the baby may be delivered through what's called a cesarean section, where an incision is made in the abdomen and the baby is brought out through the skin. It is important to note that not all men and women can have children, and even among those who can, many choose not to. Often, people who can have babies wait until they're ready to have children. They can help to avoid an unplanned or unwanted pregnancy by utilizing contraception. An example of contraception is condoms or birth control pills. Some people who cannot have children on their own will choose to adopt. Not all sexual intercourse will result in pregnancy. In fact, sexual function and reproduction are totally separate. Sex can be for pleasure, for reproduction, or for both. I hope that in this video you've learned something about sex and reproduction. To make sure that you don't miss any of my videos about sexual education, hit the subscribe button below. And as always, if there are any topics you find interesting that you'd like me to talk about, let me know by dropping a comment.